12. Only God can change us. And that's a good thing. And Jesus said. Why is that good too? It's very good, honey. Because we don't have to do it. He does it for us. <laughs> we obey him in the low things. And oh, he does all the that big. Oh, looks. Okay, are you oh, ready? There's Let's. a dove. <laughs> And Jesus said, you say to me, if you can do anything, why all things can be and are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, verse 23. Suppose you feel you can't wait to get married, so you decide to find the perfect mate for yourself in your own way, instead of waiting on God to work it out for you. It would be a terrible mistake I'm to become so desperate that you settle for someone who is not right for you. It would be much better to wait until God brings you a divine connection. It's always best not to do anything that you don't have God's peace in your heart about. Maybe you are married and you have been thinking, I want my spouse to change. I just can't put up with my partner anymore. You cannot change your spouse. Only God can. But God does not move in your life when you struggle and try to take matters into your own hands. He moves when you trust him. So I suggest that you pray. Cast your care on the Lord. Leave your hands off the situation. Cast your care? Trust God. Cast your care? And go ahead and enjoy your life. It may not be <clears throat> a I you. It may not be a marital situation you want changed. You may feel that you want your kids to change, or you want more money, or you may want a different job. We all have something going on in our lives we would like to see change for the better. I'm going to step on this. Desiring change uh, is just part of living. You are always going to want something in your life to be different. So if you want an enjoyable life, Sooner or later, you must learn to quit trying to make things happen yourself. Numerous times I struggled while trying to change my husband, trying to change my kids, trying to change myself. Yet I failed every time. I probably struggled with changing myself more than anything or anyone else. The truth is, you can't really change yourself. You can only tell God that you want to change and that you're willing to change. You can only throw open your life to him every day by praying and studying his word and leave the rest to him. The effort that we make should be made in Christ, leaning on him and not in the flesh, our own strength apart from God. This is a seed. That's a seed from my yogurt. Oh, nice. It's from... It's from this. Okay, from the blackberry. Mm -hmm. You're right, honey. Right there. Nice, honey. I got stuck in my tooth. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you got it out. It feels sharp now. Does it? We can maybe put that on our nature uh, scrapbook. Do you want to? Because it came from a seed. Mm-hmm. If you want to, we can. Okay, you ready? So, yeah. trust in him. You can live by trying to take care of yourself, or you can live by trusting God. You can try to make things happen, or you can believe God to make things happen. The choice is yours. It makes me think of the verse, I can do all things. Right. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, so I hope that this little um, August the 12th from <laughs> Trusting God Day by Day uh, devotional from Joyce Meyer. Joyce I Meyer. hope I hope that this encourages someone today. And, Joyce Meyer. Mm-hmm. Ouch. Have a great day. Have a great day, Joyce Meyer.